All right, so I'm gonna ride my bike for the first time this morning. I have the babies on their baby monitor. Emma's wrestling around, but she's trying to go back to sleep because it's only 5.30. Dylan left for work about a half an hour ago, but he did set my bike up last night. So I'm going to take that infamous <laughs> Cody Rigsby ride that's always on TikTok. So I'm going to take it and then I will report back. All right, so I just finished my first ride. Um, it was really fun. I think I'll take his classes again, and I'm also curious if anyone has any recommendations for other people to try. I'm clearly still winded and red, but little Dylan didn't want to go back to sleep. He's usually the one that's a little bit harder to put back to sleep. I fed them both at um, 4.30, hoping, okay, feed them from like 4.30 to 5.00, and then I'll hop on my bike at five. I'm trying to practice doing things in the mornings before I go back at work because normally I start at eight, 8.15. So we'll see, but he didn't, he didn't want to stay asleep. So I did come get him. I am going to try to put him down to take a shower because I am sweating. That was like the first time I've exercised in a really long time. I tried for a little after Emma, but honestly, I sucked. I never really did it, and then I got pregnant pretty soon after. But I am going to try this time because no babies, <laughs> at least not for a long time, if anything. But um, yeah, and it would be nice to get in shape before summer because I think the last two summers I've really been pregnant both times, so this will be nice um yeah but that's about it i can't really think because i obviously didn't sleep that well and i haven't eaten anything yet so i'm gonna try to eat something and hang out and then i'll take a shower before emma gets up in about an hour all right say hi you crazy boy <laughs> hi handsome I feel like he just wanted some one-on-one -on -one time with his mommy before the crazy babies woke up. <gasps> oh, look at it. They're getting so much more responsive. I forgot that they do change so quick. Say hi, now, Dylan. Okay, I really did think he looked like me, but like I said, I think he's starting to look more like Dylan, which is pretty rude because it seems like none of the kids look like me, and I did a lot of work to get these babies out. Oh, good morning. You are so cute. Oh, and Mason hit 10 pounds exactly the other day with a diaper on. And Dylan was 7 pounds, 6 ounces. So he still doesn't weigh as much as Mason did when he was born. But he is growing because he's gained like 2 pounds. Wow. Actually, no. He was 7 pounds, 10 ounces. Not 6. But yeah, so he's almost eight pounds too. You're almost there, bud. <laughs> You'll get there, big guy. This little guy does not want to let his mommy take a shower. So I brought him in the bathroom with me because I'm really just not that person during maternity leave that can just not take a shower. I feel like I need it in order to wake up in the morning. So... I'm going to let him chill out in here, and he has like that newborn congestion anyways, so maybe the steam will help him. But he's just going to hang out with his mommy, I guess. So I just finished my ride, and I did end up getting all three down for a nap. As of right now, they're still napping, so I think I need to use this time to shower because I am actually very much so sweaty. I do shower in the morning, but... I did take this class in the afternoon, and I just cannot sit with this all day. Nor does anyone want me to hold them this sweaty, I would imagine. So I'm going to take a shower, but yeah, I will film my thoughts later on the bike. I have taken a few classes now, so I feel like I can form an opinion. Obviously, it's not going to be a comparison between a Peloton, because I cannot pay for a Pelton. I have three kids in diapers. It's not happening. But this will do just fine. 
I hope this isn't disgusting, but apparently all the Starbucks nationwide, they claim, are sold out of the brown sugar stuff. And I tried it with caramel, which was good, but then I guess they sold out of that. So then I tried sugar-free vanilla, and it tasted so nasty, it was gross. So I've seen people put honey in coffee, maybe. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that. I don't know how much, I honestly don't ever eat honey. I hate the bees. And I guess, so whatever, throw some cinnamon on in there. I don't know if that's a good mix, but I'll give it a whirl. Extra cinnamon. Still hate these lids so much. I don't know who wants to actually put coffee on their teeth, but it's not me. You ever see those memes that are like someone walking into class late and shaking these coffees? That's how I feel. Alright, let's give it a taste. That is literally delicious. I'm just going to start getting them plain because that little concoction I just made was actually pretty good. Yeah, I like it. Also, I can't eat these anymore because they have dairy in them. So that's sad, but Dylan still eats them. But are we going to talk about how they only sell them individually? Three for five dollars instead of a box of them? Why are they doing that? Let's put them in a box because this is not a good time. I don't want to just buy three for five dollars. I want a box of like six for three dollars. Also, I feel like there is just nothing better than like an organized fridge. And I am all about everything in a plastic container. It's just nicer to look at. So I honestly feel so productive that I was able to take a spin class, take a shower, drink my coffee during their nap. I feel like that was just so much better than taking a nap. I never nap during their naps. I don't know what it is. I would just either rather clean. I won't lie. Sometimes I just sit there and watch Shark Tank. But that was like some much needed me time. As ridiculous as that sounds. But sometimes you just need it. Sometimes they're crying a lot. And they don't sleep at night. So it's nice to get in something that's for myself during the day. Even if that means just riding on a bike without having to get up and down just to get a binky or get a toy, anything like that. So that was very productive and I'm glad that I did invest in a bike because it's not like I can really go outside and go for a run or anything like that if it's nice out. Uh, even doing that with a stroller, I can't imagine a triple stroller, a double is big enough so I'm all set with that. But, I mean, if anyone knows of any triple strollers that aren't crazy huge or a thousand dollars, then let me know. Okay, so I have had another spin bike, but I actually got rid of it because I was never using it because I just didn't like it. Uh, it was a sunny one. I know they have a bunch. And then I guess I actually had that for years and then during COVID, the gym's closed and I guess a bunch of exercise equipment sold out and that's when I got rid of it so it sold super easy but I do really like this so this was like just about $500 maybe like $4.99 or something on Amazon Walmart sells the same one it's just a different color scheme I think there might be red in it or something but I do really like it so Peloton is over $2,000. Obviously, it's a super nice bike, but I was never like a intense spinner before. So to me, spending that kind of money when I could use it elsewhere wasn't worth it. Uh, maybe if I didn't have like three, three babies, then I could justify it. But right now I couldn't, but I do really like it. It doesn't come with a screen like a Peloton, so I'm sure that's a huge price drop too. But it does come with some nice handlebars and a stand. So I have been taking the Peloton classes and then I just put them on my iPad, but I really like it. 
And then I use uh, another app on my phone to track like the cadence, the resistance, things like that, because it is a Bluetooth bike. So it just comes up on another screen, but I'm using the iPad for the class. But yeah, it was super, I mean, honestly, I didn't assemble it, my husband did, but he probably got it put together within like 20 minutes and he barely even read the directions, but it is really nice. Uh, the handlebars adjust, the seat, the height, obviously. Uh, I was saying earlier, the pedals, they're not ones that you clip shoes in. I know you can replace them, same with the seat if you wanted, but honestly, I haven't exercised in a really long time and I just birthed two babies six weeks ago and this seat is not nearly as uncomfortable as classes I've taken at a gym. So it's really not bad at all. I didn't get that painfully sore feeling. If you've taken a spin class, you know what I'm talking about. But some people want to replace the seat. I don't really care. I actually prefer to ride the spin bike not sitting down. So I don't care about the seat that much. But yeah, the pedals, they're not um, the clip-ins, but they are caged. But if you look, they're really big on the bottom. The other spin bike I had, they were so small that it was almost just like the ball of your foot in the back hung out. So the ball of your foot would be sore even on the right settings. Like you were, I don't know, it just seemed like not comfortable at all. These, you don't feel anything sore on your feet. So that's really nice. And I don't know, Dylan was talking about how they were made, how they were threaded or something. And I forget what he said, but <laughs> he said they were great. Uh, there's a little water bottle thing right here. Honestly, this water bottle doesn't fit. It's the Yeti. So I probably won't use that. I don't buy plastic water bottles that much anymore. Um, it does come with the wheels on the front. So if you need to move it around, it's convenient. It's not that heavy. I moved it over myself. It's certainly heavy when you get it in the box. Um, don't carry it in, but pushing it around, it's not bad. And then you have your little resistance knob right here. The bike just plugs in down here when you want it on for the Bluetooth to connect. But yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I'm not an avid spinner, so I really can't attest to how great it is in comparison to a Peloton or any other one. But honestly, for $500, versus the sunny one I used to have, which I believe was still like $400. This is so much better. I really like that the flywheel is encased. I think it makes it look nice and sleek. And then I bought the mat for like $25 because I didn't want to ruin my floors nor sweat on them. But overall, I've taken a few classes on it now and I really think it was worth it. So if anyone is in the market for a spin bike but doesn't want to invest in a peloton just yet i definitely recommend looking at the echelon i sound like an infomercial for them but i just really like it and i think it was worth it and honestly i watched so many videos comparing the bikes to see if it was worth the money if i should buy one and i'm really glad i did and like i said it was from amazon so it got here pretty quickly and it was 500 dollars, but i did end up getting a credit from them because it was late so overall, definitely worth the money. Sorry that wasn't like a sit down review. Uh, I felt much more comfortable just sitting here rambling on about it opposed to sitting down and trying to remember what I was gonna say. Looking at the bike, it was a lot easier to just pinpoint the things I wanted to talk about. But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. And again, this was the Echelon Connect, I believe. And I think the one at Walmart is just called like the Echelon Sport or something. But from my understanding between watching the other videos, they are about the same bike and they are the same price point. But thank you for watching my video. So I'm sitting here editing this video and I forgot to mention something that's like a pretty important thing. The bike doesn't make any noise. So the old Sunny bike I had, the whole time you were riding it, you could hear it spinning. This bike is so silent. There's no clicking, there's no spin sound. So it 
doesn't make any noise at all, which I think is super important because if you're not wearing headphones, which I am not because I need to be able to hear the monitor and the babies. So I'm listening to the class just come out of the actual iPad. There is no other sound coming from that bike. So I felt like I should add that in. Okay, so I need to feed Dylan, but before Dylan opens these, I just wanted to note the very next day I went to BJ's and I did find a six pack of Dunkaroos, but they're $8.99. Isn't that crazy? It's over a dollar for one package. Okay, also real quick, went to Market Basket right after that clip and found Dunkaroos cereal. This vlog has turned into a Dunkaroos diary. All right, so this is another day. Uh, I realized when I was editing that I completely forgot to end the video, but I just did another ride on the bike and still love it just as much. But thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you liked it. And if you are looking for a spin bike, I'm telling you this is it for an affordable option.